What's is there an update on Shayok? Game time decision. I just talked to Vic. Uh, he tried to do a little workout this morning. He won't practice today. And so um, game time decision, that's all I can really tell you on that. You know, obviously it's senior day, senior, yeah, senior day, senior night, senior day. But uh, so you'd love him to be able to play. Obviously, we got to be smart about it, too. And he's got to be smart about it with things that we have down the road with the Big 12 tournament, the NCAA tournament. Um, but this is basically five minutes ago is, you know, he finished working out. and. Um, so it's going to be a game time decision. They're still going to work at it and see what they can do. Is it primarily a pain thing. Yeah, it's a pain thing right now. To where I think in a, another couple of days, I think that'll all be gone because the pain's subsided a bunch. Uh, but still, uh, but there's still some there after working out. Did you do the senior walk-on treatment where he starts and comes right off, or if he's not going to play, he's not going to play? You know what? Um, no, I don't think I'd do that just because, yeah, I just don't want to put them, A, you, you're almost, you're, you're going to play a couple possessions because you're probably not going to burn a timeout. But it's a good thought, you know, from a standpoint. But the way we do senior day here, he's going to have an opportunity to enter, engage with the crowd afterwards. Um, but obviously, um, that is a good thought. I didn't think about that. That's what um, you're here for. You know, <laughs> but, but, I, but I still won't just because of, the flow of the game and for a lot of different things and and because we do senior day to where they speak to the fans afterwards he'll get a chance to, to thank them and embrace them what's the uh, temperature in the locker room like right now man I think so I think it's good uh, obviously we didn't represent our program in this school the right way uh, the other night uh, whether it's guys arguing or carrying on but more so in just in the way we played not making shots missing shots and just just from a focus and an effort standpoint but you know that's that's what and so um, but I met with everybody on the team yesterday for about for anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes you know spent most of my day meeting with those guys and and um, you know I think we've I think we're obviously you're not gonna say you're in a good place you got to kind of like you know, figure it out, heal a little bit, and then start your, you know, your pathway back. Uh, I do, I hope after yesterday that we are on that, back to that uphill climb. Does that mean you win? I don't know, but like I talked to those guys about, it's about let's just play the right way. You know, I watched Texas Tech game last night in preparation for tomorrow, and I don't know how many of y'all live went where you watched that game. That team is a good team, really good. We got to get back to that. Is any it, idea, any mystery why a team? <laughs> we were talking know. eight and four. I mean, well, I mean, we're thirteenth in the country three weeks ago, what, uh, what and now we're, uh, you know, you know, you still got to think, hey, you're twenty and ten, and you know, like I yeah. looked at Lenardi today, or they got you as a five seed, so that, that's not too bad there. But, man, I don't know. You know, obviously, if I knew, I would have tried to cut it a week and a half, two weeks ago. Um, it, number one, I think it starts on the defensive end. Uh, you know, we went and watched the staff and I today. Every single three we've given up in this one and four stretch, really two and five stretch, because we showed the fifth game too. Um, and it's more about effort and focus and not helping off the ball side corner and, um, you know, get better closeouts and contests and just attention to detail things that we've got to be better in. And so. Uh, our ball movement's not as good. Like Texas Tech, I mean, they're, we're about to show good offense. Like that thing was flying around there. I mean, it was really good. And uh, you know, why? I, I don't. I, I mean, I could give you five or six things that I think. You know, like we talked about the other night. I don't have the exact answer. Uh, we all have to work at getting it better and change it. That's one through thirteen. It's not one individual guy. It's not one X and O thing. It's just collectively we got to be better. But I really, truly think it starts in the defensive end. Our effort on the defensive end has not been very good. That's where our numbers have really drastically dropped. We got to compete better on the defensive end. We got to be bought in uh, more so on the defensive end uh, of trusting one another and, and defending the right way as a team. And uh, if we do that, then obviously we play in transition more and share the ball better, you know, and don't get stagnant in the half court. But I don't. I don't have a, a magic answer. You know, you could, like I said, pinpoint five, six, seven things. Um, but everything plays a part. But we just gotta, you know, it's like it's a, it's really a new season once you go to the Big Twelve, and then it's another new season, and so we're wrapping up basically phase two, the regular season. And this is obviously a huge game for us tomorrow. A senior day. B. We need to play better. But C. It's a it's a huge quality win for us that could, you know, help you when you look at seed lines and different. Given just everything you just said, and 
what we know about Monday and saw Wednesday, it seems like it's not basketball issues is why you guys are not playing basketball well right now. Is that fair? I mean, yeah, it's not yeah, like yeah, it's you're not playing the ball screen right or yeah, make yeah. shots. Yeah, I think it's all just it's all. I think we're just we just got to get away out of, get our get ourselves out of each other's way a little bit. I mean, that's it. I mean, I went I went and watched. You know, uh, I'm not sitting here. I'm not John Wooden by any by any means. But I've went and watched millions of tape and. You know, ball is it ball screen coverage? Is it transition? D? It's just it's it's focus and effort and, and togetherness, and we've just got to get that back because we had it at the highest level. I mean, everybody saw that, and we had it three weeks ago, um, and that's what the toughest part of coaching is: is trying to figure out what happened and how to fix it when it's not something where you look at it and it's black and white. This is the issue. But I do believe talking to these guys yesterday and them talking with amongst themselves, obviously, or you know, around their facility, that they want to change it, you know, because they need to change it for themselves, you know, for for them, so they can experience some really special things this month. There was, we know, you know, that George was, uh, you know, grab you like this type leader. He could be. Does this team have that? Have a George? Oh, George Niang. Okay, yeah. All right. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean Condit. God, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, no, when you just I, there said no, there well, was no just, ulterior. Until you grabbed me and like that, I didn't know Niang. There was no ulterior thing there. So, no, I meant Niang. Yeah, I'm sorry. You know, um, you know, we've got really, really good kids. You know, I love each one of our guys. They're, they're, they're great, great people. We need to collectively, from me, and that's, you know, my personality may not be the outgoing. It's more about, you know, I, you know, I try to get them to play hard through, you know, my way, and it's. I think it's been been good. It's not good right now, um, but you know, we probably don't have the, the that that outgoing personality. Uh, but that doesn't mean collectively, if we respect each other and treat each other the right way, the way you want to be treated, the way you want to be coached, that we can't do something uh, because something was right mm -hmm. six games ago, five games ago, like. Something was working. Even Oklahoma game here, we played really well. I mean, the game was close at half, but they made some tough shots. And <laughs> second half, the ball was sh we were sharing the ball. And uh, but, you know, uh, do we have that type of personality? No. Um, you know, maybe in some younger guys at some point, yes, but not right now. But that doesn't mean that they can't they can't be great leaders and they can't listen and they can't they can't love one another and represent each other the right way. How would you describe each of your three seniors' careers and just reflecting on it? Obviously, it's a senior night coming up. Yeah, you know, uh, I love. I always say this a lot. I said two days I really like, and it's the reunion weekend, and it's senior day because it's an emotional day, and I think we try to treat it the right way. John and those guys put a beautiful video together for us that we show before the game in the locker room. Uh, the guys speak afterwards, um, and then we show the video. But, I mean, just start, you know, Zoran Talley obviously came in here from Old Dominion, uh, you know, and, and we talk all the time, probably doesn't have the exact role he would want to have this, this year, but I think he's, he's handled himself the right way. Uh, he's going to, he's obviously came here as a graduate, I mean, as a, uh, as a graduate transfer, but he's going to get his master's this summer. He finishes up. And so that's a credit to him and staying true, you know, academically there. Um, you know, and he's he's been good. He's he's a good you know kind of behind the scenes guy with these uh, with these guys, um, just being a fifth year guy and an older guy. Um, Mariel Shayok, you know, I can't probably speak enough about him and and what he's done for us this year. He's obviously you know he may not, he may not be Big Twelve Player of the Year just because our little tailspin here at the end, but obviously a worthy candidate for it and going to be an All First Team All Big Twelve guy. I'd be shocked if he's not. Um, I think he came here for a purpose, and I think he's he's done that. And, and the reason we brought him here, I think he's answered that bell for us too, from an experience and from a scoring standpoint, and getting us back to where we need to be as a program. Um, and you know, he's just his work ethic has been relentless. I mean, it, it's it's really transcended into a really good year for for our team and for him. Uh, obviously, the, the the kind of the fluke situation that happened to put him out possibly these last two games stinks. Uh, you would hate for him to miss senior day, but hopefully he can have another impact and finish this thing the right way with the Big 12 tournament and NCAAs. And then obviously Bab has got legacy here with Chris. Uh, Nick has been here the whole time with me, all four years, obviously sitting out his first year. Second year, um, you know, we did some great things going to uh, winning the Big 12 tournament and finished second in the league. And, 
he was a huge piece of that Big 12 tournament run, especially, you know, we were down in the West Virginia game that year in the first half, and our subs are one, Donovan Jackson, Babb, Daryl Bowie, those are the ones who got us back in the game that day. Um, but he's been a consummate leader. Um, uh, he's assist to turnover ratio has been tremendous. Um, you know, he's handled himself tremendously on and off the floor for us, representing this program the right way. And whatever he chooses, obviously his dad's in the food business and stuff. If he goes that line or he wants to go play for 10, 15 years, he's going to be really, really successful. Um, and so I appreciate all of them, what they've done for us. And the biggest thing I told the guys yesterday, I said, man, the best thing in life is doing something for somebody else. That's what the great thing about being a coach at a place like Iowa State is. Uh, obviously, they're passionate, and, and some days they, they, they love you, and some days they don't. But you know their hearts, you know the hearts right, and you want to give them something that they can't provide for themselves, and and that's what hopefully these guys can do for these seniors tomorrow, because that's what it's about at the end of the day. Make a case for Taylor for freshman of the year. Uh, obviously, he's there's no question. You know he's one of, if not the most talented freshman in the league. Um, obviously, we've had a he's been a huge impact in our in our winning. Um, you know, with the 20 wins, top half of the league. There's obviously some really good freshmen, but. He's, he's played, you know, a couple positions for us. You know, he scored it. He's one guy I talk about. He can stat in all five categories, points, assists, rebounds, steals, uh, block shots. Uh, he can defend different positions. He can play with the ball in his hands. He can play without the ball. Uh, but he's been, as a freshman, he's been, along with Tyrese, they've both been so impactful for this program this year. And George, too, in the times he's he's got opportunities. but. Taylor's special. He's an unbelievable kid off the floor as well. He's handled himself the right way all season long, you know, uh, in the classroom, on the court. And so uh, I'm sure it's probably between maybe two or three guys, I'm, I'm guessing. Uh, and he's, without question, should should be right there. And hopefully he has a chance to win it. What did you think of the two big looks on Wednesday? Or can you give anything? Because I think all that happened in the second half. Were yeah, right no, it's. Um, you know, the thing about that is, you know, we just haven't any consistency from a standpoint, guys, in practice, really, because the, the concepts are so different, yeah. you know, from a standpoint. And, and so we, we, I knew going in that game just without Mario, and I didn't know about Bab, that we knew we were going to have to spend a little time just in case we had to put Mike, Mike at the four a little bit. But I, I didn't think it was bad nor good. I don't think there's enough film to really make a case for either way. Um, is Texas Tech a team that I think playing big gives us an advantage? No, I think our one advantage against Texas Tech is to really spread them out. Um, but when you looked at guys, you know, both guys were rim running at times. You just hadn't had the reps to where, you know, one rim ones, one trails, we're in the room, one side, we're in the room, the other side. They're just, the concepts are very different from spacing at times. And so uh, you really have to sell out to that and spend a ton of time with that. And, you know, at the end of the day, I just I, I felt from a standpoint as where we were in the season to where we just got to continue to get what we're doing because it was working pretty good in the last couple of weeks. It's just, but I knew we have to have a little something just because of our numbers right now.